All right, we are uh, on our way over to the farm right now. Uh, Al's taking his truck, I'm taking mine. Uh, we got two doe tags through down here now. So, we're doe hunting. Uh, I'm going to plot we call the circle blind, circle plot. Um, I sat there the first morning I was down here um, on Saturday morning. And that's now Monday, so Monday morning, uh, going back to that blind. We were glassing last night, um, glassing the farm, came over spotting deer, and uh, it was a nice doe that sat right in the middle of this plot last night, right at the uh, last 15 minutes or so of shooting light. Uh, so, hoping her or another doe decides to walk out into that plot this morning. I was gonna be sitting in another ground blind um, across the field. I am uh, in an old apple orchard. Um, we got a doe in there two weeks ago when he was down. Uh, so he's gonna go back in there, see what he can make happen this morning. But yep, going back to that circle blind today. Gonna see if we can get a doe on the ground. Um, should be a decent morning. It's 43 degrees, six o'clock right now. Uh, shooting light, I don't even know, say, uh, da, 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 like five minutes to seven, so we got some time, we got to get over there now so we can get in the stand, but um, we'll be in the blind at least a half hour before, before we will let it settle down for a good half hour or something, should be good, um, we'll see what happens. So when we were glassing last night, there was two nice bucks down below, two nice big eights in the lower field. Then as we were watching, it was a nice big doe. It was sitting right in the middle of this plop for at least 15, 20 minutes. So when her or one of her pals comes by, uh, I filled my buck tag. So I don't know. Ten. <clears throat> that was on Saturday. Today's Monday, so I keep the eyes open, keep my ears open, and hopefully we'll be field dressing something this morning. Al's over, maybe I don't know how far it would be, but other side of this upper field, big field. He's in the 
was pretty cool. Uh, just having that four pointer come through. Um, smaller four pointer, but look, you know, you know, it's always good to see him there. Um, yeah, he came from the upper field right there, right down the road. And then he was munching away on uh, some apples on the ground that are under this. There's an apple tree right on the corner of this food plot that's dropping apples. Um, so he was sitting under there. Yeah, had a few apples. And he's only about <clears throat> about 40 yards to my left. He's rubbing on some branches over there. But yeah, it's a good sign. It's about 8 o'clock right now. So we'll see what happens in the next hour or so. Wednesday night, we just got to stand. I'm in that upper stand again in the top corner of this field. Um, and then Al took that white blind, uh, and painted a blind white to look like a wrapped up hay bale. And uh, cause it's just right on the edge of the field and it works, um, works great. But we both just got to stand um, again, real warm out today. Um, but today's the end of the warm temperatures. Tomorrow it's gonna drop. Uh, high tomorrow is going to be in the 50s um, today was mid 70s so i mean it's going to be reasonably colder tomorrow at least maybe around 20 degrees cooler um so that should be good but hey hopes are still high for tonight um again we are we're in two good spots it's just a matter of uh, being there when they when they want to come through so saw five this morning total um it was just all real early right at right in, at dark and um at the beginning of shooting light and uh, nothing came close just out in the field moving up out of the field so um we'll see what happens tonight we'll see what time they start pushing out uh it's a little breezy but that might help i mean it makes it noisy in the woods a lot of movement so maybe they want to get out in the open field where uh there's not much moving around they can keep a better eye on things just a thought who knows i'm not a deer so um yeah we're gonna hunker down and hopefully we get some action tonight or uh hopefully i'll get some action tonight either way we're hunting so it's a good night um yeah i'm gonna sit here and keep my eyes peeled Hopefully she'll make her way up the hill. But uh, yeah, she came right up through there. And uh, I can't see her at the moment. But I'm hoping that she's gonna come up this way. We'll see.
super slow. I mean, it's still super windy. Only saw that one doe below, below me I run up into the field, and I hadn't seen her since. I think she's still down there somewhere. Oh, my God. I just, I sat down. I'm just looking over around the field. I mean, I'm, I'm constantly glassing back and forth. I was looking down here for that doe, and I looked back, and this doe had popped out. 60 yards, I guess. I mean, she came out of nowhere, popped out 60 yards, and just chugging along the edge here, chugging along the edge here, came right around the corner, started feeding on the plot. And I mean, it, it couldn't have gone any more picture perfect of how we want this plot to work here. Um, turned right into the plot, started eating on some of the greens. Um, turned broadside, put it right on her shoulder. She just ran up to the left and she crashed right there. Yes! Yes! It's not, a, it's not a big doe. But all we are seeing on this property right now is bucks. I mean, it is just loaded with bucks. It's been tough seeing does. That's the first doe I've seen from stand, um, other than a couple the first night that were 400 yards away. I might have, I mean, I saw that one down here. Haven't seen her since, so I mean, I've only seen two does tonight, but it's it, it, it's the most I've seen um, out of any of the sits this week. Filled one doe tag. Let's go. Yes. She was quartering to me a hair. I just put it right on the front side of her shoulder. Um, I think I hit her pretty damn good. She probably only went 40 yards, 35 yards. She piled up right behind the plot in this little piece of woods right here. Um, saw her crash. Might have been tough to see on the camera, but um, she didn't last 10 seconds, if that. I mean, not a big doe like I said but just with the with the slow movement of does that we've been seeing I mean I have two doe tags so there's one punched and uh I still have three days to hunt so I think I'm gonna get down and um pull her out of there and I'll get the quad I don't want to mess with Al sit he told me to call him if I got something down but uh, I want to let him sit. There's been a lot of bucks going to the blind that he's sitting in right now. So I want to make sure that he has a good sit. And um, oh my God, here comes a buck. Here comes a buck. Just got out of the stand. Just got out of the stand. I'm gonna go. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna go find my. See if I can find my arrow. And uh, I'm pretty sure I know where she's at. But let me see if I can find the. See if I can follow the blood. Blood up to her. I know she's down right up there. I'm gonna go see if I can find my arrow first. And, uh, let me just get through this thick crap. A bunch of briars and stuff. Here we go. Found my arrow. 
sticking in the ground right here. She ran right up this way, so we're gonna go see if we can find her. I'm pretty sure she's laying dead right up here. Don't look so. Uh, it's just dark enough. I need to get my flashlight out. Let me get that in the... She's right here. She's right up by that big, green, bushy uh, growth there. The tree stands right to the right of that. So, and I got a little bit of light. I'm gonna see if I can. See if I can at least find her and get her out of the woods. Make it a little easier on myself here. She ran right up there, and I think she's dead in those big, there's a big uh, pile, of, pile of logs right there. It seemed like she didn't get through it, so I think she's on the ground right there. All right, got the hidden lamp on. Ran straight up through here. Looking for any blood or anything. Straight up into here. Oh, yep, there we go. Here we go. We got blood, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect. Yep, here we go. Spot the next one here. Pull up a little bit, see if I can't find any more. Oh yeah, yep, here we go. Right, let's run. Oh, yeah, she's starting to speed now. Oh yes. Laying down right there. Right there. Right there. She's down. She's down. Nice. Oh, yeah. Perfect shot. I think that's the exit. Entries on the other side. Oh, beautiful. Like I said, not the biggest deer, but I could care less. Any deer on the ground is an accomplishment in my eyes. Haven't been seeing does, and I uh, was able to make it happen. Tonight on this one, still got a few days left. I got one doe tag, but oh my god, I couldn't be happier. I could not be happier. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, she's down good. Yeah. Heard her flop over. Oh, yeah, she messed around right there and then kind of flopped backwards, it seems. Oh. oh. Thank you. Oh man, what a week this has been so far. Got that beautiful 10 point the first night I was here. Slower last a few days, but oh man, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, I'm gonna get her pulled out of here uh, to the field. It's about time to radio Al. So I'm gonna get her to the field, get in touch with him, and uh, then I'll go back and Get her cleaned up, get her all processed, and we'll get her hung up tonight. Awesome. What a hunt. What a hunt. All right, I made it to the bike. I got her pulled out into the uh, field up there, so I'm going to uh, hop on the bike, get her down there, oops, sorry, and then uh, meet up with Al. So I'm going to get to that and... Uh, 
we'll get her out of here. All right, we're back at camp. Um, quick dress job, it's a smaller deer, so got it all cleaned um, and already hung up on the pole. Got her rinsed out and uh, everything's all taken care of, so that's that. But here she is hanging up on the pole. Beautiful. Got her spread open so that uh, it's gonna get nice and cold tonight so that the air can get at it. Yeah, great deer. I mean, I'm thrilled with it. Couldn't ask for much more. Um, <clears throat> still got one tag left down here, one more doe tag. So got three more days. It's gonna get cooler and uh, we'll see if we can fill it, but awesome. Awesome stuff. She is all hung up. Um, like I said, not a big deer, but I'm thrilled with it. Um, haven't been seeing a lot of does, and um, I wasn't gonna pass this up. I still have one doe tag and three days left to hunt, so um, thrilled that I was able to get a second deer. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll get a third. Still got one more tag, but um, that about does it for this one. Um, Gonna get her processed probably tomorrow, skinned out, gonna let it cool overnight, um, and then get it all cut up and ready to bring home. So, couldn't be happier. Got the buck first night. This one, uh, so that was Saturday, it's now Wednesday. Um, and staying through the weekend or until I fill my last tag, so. Um, yeah, good stuff.